look soon in there. smile like I haven't seen. Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendinta, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, Gunnar, I hoped it would be at home. No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Whose blessing? I see no pitchfork shaking father or weeping mother. <laughs> Glauashistus elderman, Kunan. He helped raise Briggs and she was a pup. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? Nath mama dad carried the vengilu the nanon. Conan helped Drews me. Briggs with man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air sick or gumpas gillu. A tevor gal clis laun. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Hmm. <laughs> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? Eh? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. 
Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your Harvest King, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Spell the swine! <laughs> that was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. 
Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives her glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back on. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. If you that on the earth, one shall be that way each that house for sure Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trick... <gasps> I have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. To what? <laughs> ah, lads getting into their cops, scaring the wee ones. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors. <laughs> Victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is really given? A worthy haul. And a tradition worth keeping up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
A child. I have, I have cakes. <laughs> Look at these cakes, sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this, Gunnar. My cakes. Your eyes, my friend. What did you say to me? I Go said, now. Claudius, take your foot. You are either fearless or stupid, boy, to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gonna. We are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. Time to die! <laughs> it's you lot we should be burning alive! <laughs> are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. Four spears! My leg! Gunnar! Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. More drones are gumpas to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tefter becomes elder men. With Dean of Fall. Regardless of Poisel Puar. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor toish gatran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modern, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. It's here that that same bullet from Moonbay. With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give some ale then. One for me. 
for shave not every to holy heart Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps at ale like a cat. Are you going to start? You are sweating. Too strong for you. Come on, lad. Show the dame your metal. Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? Merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A toast, then. To Elderman Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. Weak. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> And how nice is that? Tefta, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. 
More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter! Where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. And the effects of that draft still cling. Tefter, are you here? Tefter. has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefter's, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill his bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowachester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain! Get the murderer!
Hands techie with old blood from the new king. Hands techie with old blood from the new king. Hands techie with old blood from the new king. It would be best to lie low. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. That must be the home of the druid. The fellow man is peopled by men of straw. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. 
ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Another joins the throng. Another. <laughs> Let there be cacophony. One more. One more. They roar. Do you hear them? A chorus of fire. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Give out. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. The dagger is placed upside down. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. A hangman's noose. A knife. And the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. <laughs> Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found you? which charm is it? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion, I speak to druids long dead. But of course, you, a spirit, would know that. Which charm summons aid for maidens? Give 
Give me a... Are you a... Speak to me, O oh wind. Have we... Give... A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. This dagger is placed upside down. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. Speak to me, O oh wind! Which charm summons aid for... Give... Ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. <laughs> the statue of a woman, Sabrina, watches me from the water below. The statue of a woman, Sabrina, watches me from the water below. <laughs> Speak to me, O oh wind! Maidens and so tell me, oh, the Adame dagger, the upturned. <laughs> you are no, just the answer to your question. Aye, a mix to help him sleep. Could Ladron go with the Kuth Ladron? Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. My eyes, Sunan. I can see Modron ahead. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodren, name of Gwilim. 
I was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Ludren is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You do not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilym and regain my honor. This forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuth Ludren, the Thieves' Warren. This is where I leave you. You will find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. This area is off limits. from one of the daughters of Nymer. They're blessed and holy healing. It should help with the pain. Thank you, Farron. You've been a great comfort. <laughs> that is Tefter's voice. So he lives. Die! Uh. 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 
be a puzzle. That must be where Guilim is hiding. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Coonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit, Salesaunt, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Coonan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Coonan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Coonan did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lord has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. Help! This way! Help! When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness, under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces, it matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. The scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevder to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunon? You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunon before the festival's end.
before I'm spotted. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. Gunner as well? Dowl am your whereabouts, and dichel am your dathliadai. Bridget! Abandons bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to mother. If you gaddle it, then the babans will do it and all. I lay it got. It's you again, the Sowen Butcher. The Sowen Butcher. Never mind. Gwyneth, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. I must find Kunan before I'm spotted. The longhouse. I would know more about you, Gwenny. Mother said. You're. She. Uh, well. You are. She's. Collect. I... They're at the church, ladies. They don't like the festival. But Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh! I have business with... Even if you... Would give her... She's been instructed not to. Thank you for your help. The key is held by someone Gever. I must find her. I must find Kunan before I'm spotted. The Longhouse is a good place to start. Altawe! Altawe! Have you seen... Hey! On Samhain night, all out to fly, some to... Uh, oh, oh, you've oh, I've messed up the rhyme. The man tries to rhyme with all his might. <laughs> Didn't take much to outwit me. <laughs> You're really good. Good enough for a reward. Many thanks. Enjoy the festival. I'm looking for Gloucester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who's still... How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. Sounds like some ale will loosen his tongue. <laughs> Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the wicker man. Kunan? Oh, for you, love? I could be. <laughs> Where's Kunan? Mary Lube! Come dance with me! <laughs> Have you seen Kunan? I'm looking for... Right! Of course. Ba Gavin's waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Oh, 
Right, gotta keep my... Ah, the crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Hey, for <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, 
But I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Motherham. Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name and drugging me is an offense I kill for. I'm to be dead within the wicker man by Samhain's end. I beg you, let me die for my people. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you fail, Kunin. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. This place is heavily guarded.
Aid me in my eyes. Faint, but I recognize Mordron's voice. Smells like a trap. <laughs> Need to be careful here. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're finished. <laughs> stop, stop shouting at Challenger. and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade, or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. <sighs> Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The high priestess Modrum tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. Kunan and Modron conspired to bring about your end. Now, both lie dead by my hand. Such a waste of life. 
The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modern had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwynedd is Kunin's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. I have returned. <laughs> Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people, so that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place, and to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Tradition dictates the burning be overseen by the High Priestess. Modron is missed here. My hand has hindered this blow twice, then. Then I will oversee, as is my right, my blood. I took Motherin from you. You have every right to feud with my line. One you old enough to hold a sword. Mother saw your fate. The future will punish you greater than I ever could. Punishment or not, you will go into the future as Gloucestershire's ally. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Eivor, the honor is yours.
it seems the wind calls me back to Ranzvi. Let's tell her the good news. Only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one begins a long time ago at a desert. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. You have discarded it. It was not rubbish. I intended to use. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. You will state your cases and... Gudrun. I have been I scoured the passing Holger's home. Lies and slay! Holger, quiet now. I confront, I ask. So, Holger. That is right. Holger. Short days ago, I wished to. The sailcloth. I see. My mo. Yet here she. <sighs> Nonsense. My only cr. I see. Exactly. All right. I might have. It was got. Oh, I will. I quiet. Uh, that Holger and Gudrun. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this! Stand aside! You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skald? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the- This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard. The source of all right and wrong. The lord of justice in this place. Without rank. Without order. Without a chain of command. Life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when you hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sale cost value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. 
See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Pleasure to I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glower Chestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Yes, yes, we will still be doing Beltane celebrations come spring. Now, how are our seed inventories? Eivor, you came! Hello, Tefder. Are you well? I must say, the sight of you warms a weary heart. I like these. You have grown into your horns. Holding two sides of the river together is no easy task. Makes me respect Kunon's composure. And how is Glauchester? Wolves thinned our flocks my first moon as Eldermen. Then Blythe visited our remaining crops. Poor omens of my own rule. That will be trouble come winter. But enough of that. You deserve a diverting evening of friendship. Come. I've something to show you. So the cow pulls itself free and <laughs> careers down the road, dragging the banner behind it. <laughs> Quite the spirited creature. You gave chase? <laughs> On foot! Almost all the way to Halewin's cavern! <laughs> and then again, I looked the fool when they followed on horses. Eivor, may I ask? What is it that you seek forgiveness for? I was raised to be a priest, Eivor, so I know what a troubled face looks like. I made a mistake. Many mistakes. That rolled together like snow thunder. What mistake? I would rather not say. There's nothing to be gained by gawking at a weeping wound. Well, if you ever need someone to talk to, let me shoulder some of that burden. If you have a need. That is kind of you.
Ivor! Life in the rough, in the company of friends. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with him now, and you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood! My day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Survey the area sooner. Yeah! Yeah! 
shouldn't be seen here. The hood should work. So this is Humboldt's safe haven. Unwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunvald, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible! Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new! You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. <laughs> ah! oh! me a sturgeon on the river. You told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunwald is in trouble. They could be. Leave him be! Feed the word! He's not a bloody game! Oh! oh I have been move. struck down! Wound within an inch of my life! Ah, I will say, survive! The silver days of the Continue, Continue as you would, Ava! And if I should expire, avenge me! Ah. Ah. Watch my lead! <laughs> Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Butlfston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? 
Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the Cheryl? To believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the Cheryls and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail- What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I sus- Here's Lincoln. City of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Keep your guard up! Oh, how can a place I once called home look so alien to me now? you live I do my dear Reagan hair body and soul tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form it is urgent I speak with him I'm sorry Lord but your father has been taken taken when weeks ago Lord and well ill he was when they carried him off I wish I could say more Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my cast. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan Hare? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. <laughs> you 
see. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in Wall? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Come on, I've got the good stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> hey, what? returned my lord you're well lord hunwald you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you lives might have been spared why so surprised to see my return bishop was i rumored dead oh worse than dead it is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed... What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. 
This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Gunvald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Hunwald's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. <laughs> Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. <laughs> Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too... C it's bad enough, I've... No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
wise to let those mercy and his nobles use up. <laughs> Tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? This place is heavily guarded. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some ungodly deal.
fighting here? About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. should not be seen in this area.
Over into your fate. prepared. 
Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? This biscuit has been dry for some time, sister. How long has the Elderman been dead? Dead is such a drastic word. I like to think of my Lord as... transformed. That's not untrue. Have you need of anything? Hunwolf deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. 
It was her duty to say something. Humwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shiremoot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Hunwald is an obvious candidate, but I don't trust any of you beyond the tip of a spear. I'll see to it that he is protected until your Shiremoot gathers. None here wishes the boy ill. But do what you think necessary. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbiorth's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should fall. Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. I have better people to speak to. Wallow in your self-made grief, Ebus. Go then. Why linger here? Troll cursed corruption lurks here. Yeah.
these woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here. <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <clears throat> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor-full, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Huh. Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance.
What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Something's going on. Struck Eivor! That's twice they've... And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. 
This I must see for myself. There she is! Hundval! I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, Milo. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Unwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> 